Hi. Every day when I read the news, the headlines start off with yet another famous person being accused of sexual harassment or sexual assault. Just yesterday, the headline news was about Matt Lauer from the NBC news station, where he's been a journalist for the past 20 years, and he was fired for sexual, for sexual harassment. Thankfully, the hashtag MeToo campaign is empowering women around the world to share their personal stories, and it has spread like wildfire. Women finally aren't afraid to speak up. While the progress is exciting, it's still shocking that something as basic as safety is still such a universal problem. It's especially surprising when we put this into the context of the world that we live in today, surrounded by technology in every industry. Technology that was once only accessible to governments and businesses is now available to every individual around the world. Today, we use technology in our, we count our everyday steps. We use it to diagnose disease. We have driverless cars, and we're even planning to go to the moon and to Mars. Yet as women, we still face so many of the same safety concerns that we faced generations ago. I strongly believe that safety is a fundamental human right and shouldn't be considered a luxury for women. Statistics show us how widespread this global epidemic has become. One in three women globally have faced physical or sexual violence in their lifetime. One out of five women in U.S. college campuses has been assaulted, and 90% don't even report the assault. In Europe, 84% of girls have been harassed between the ages of 11 and 17. These are their formative middle and high school years. And in India, 80% of women are afraid to leave their houses in, for the fear of being harassed. All of us women, regardless of our socioeconomic background, have faced fear at some point in our lives. Whether it was just walking back to our car after dark, or if it was walking alone down a street. It really is time to change this. If we want to move forward as a society, we can't leave half of our population behind. And to bring women into classrooms and boardrooms, we have to ensure their safety first. One of the UN sustainable goals is gender equality and the empowerment of women and girls around the world. How are we going to do this if women in so many parts of the world are even scared to leave their homes? My goal today is not to depress you, but to urge you to take action. I know I've been inspired. Here's what my husband and I recently launched and believe this can be one of the solutions to safety. We wanted to use what we know best, the power of technology, to help solve this problem. We have been longtime supporters of the XPRIZE Foundation, an innovative organization that helps solve some of the grandest challenges facing humanity. They do this through incentivized competitions. I began to wonder if we could use this platform to tackle the issue of women's safety, which is so close to my heart and a problem that's faced across the world. While a prize like this has never been done before, Last October, we launched the Anu and Naveen Jain Woman Safety X Prize. What does this mean? We put forth a million dollar prize that will be awarded to any individual or team from around the world who can develop a device that meets the following criteria. That device has to be able to transmit a location accurate emergency alert providing a response within 90 seconds that help is on the way. And it has to be affordable, so it should cost under $40. Just last week, we announced the semi-finalists, and now we have 21 teams in the competition. We wish them good luck through the process. Here is a short video on the safety prize. 
Every single woman in this world has at some point in her life felt unsafe just walking down the streets. Safety is a fundamental human right and shouldn't be considered a luxury for women. I'm Naveen Jain. I'm Anu Jain. We're entrepreneurs and we're very excited to have launched a $1 million prize for women's safety. One in three women globally has faced sexual violence at some point in her lifetime. Here in the U.S. alone, one out of five women on campuses has been assaulted, and 90% of these women don't even report the assault. These figures are staggering. We need to find a solution. We can't wait any longer. We live in a world today where every part of our life has technology, yet we don't have a solution for women's safety. Imagine if there was a small device that could be anywhere on women's body rather than a cell phone which everyone knows can be taken away. This could be in your earring, it could be anywhere on the clothes as a button. And this device could be triggered at any moment of time. And at the end of the day, as long as the device is there, it's quite likely it will be a deterrent for anyone who is actually even thinking about attacking a woman. Once a girl is safe, she will be able to get an education, have access to health care, be able to find a job, and all the opportunities will be open to her. Please find a solution for the safety of women. We hope that you will join us in spreading the word. But more broadly, we hope that this inspires you to think of solving solutions by using technology in an innovative way. So why am I standing here so focused on safety? Why not education or health or many of the other issues facing girls around the world? For starters, it is clear that education is the key to get a woman out of the cycle of poverty. And while we often think of the solution of building more schools or more classrooms, shouldn't we first start with the ensuring that every girl who wants to go to school is safe? I saw this problem firsthand when I visited India, the UN uh, Girl Up programs with my daughter last year. And it was shocking to see that boys were taken out of school in fourth grade. Sorry, it was shocking to see that while boys continued to go to school, girls were taken out of school because parents didn't feel it was safe enough for them to walk the distance to the schools. If we can protect girls, and give parents confidence that it's safe for them to go to school. We'll have educated girls. When you educate a girl, instead of getting married as a teenager, she gets married later. She has fewer kids and kids at a later age. And she educates these girls, these children. And this has a rippling effect on the economy. Gender equality can only be achieved when girls and women around the world feel safe and are able to pursue their careers and dreams. We all have the power within us to create change. Let us use this power of our voice and technology to ensure safety and education for all girls and women so that we live in a world where women have the freedom to pursue their dreams. Thank you.